been the dean of the SADC group in Nigeria. Um, I tried to whistle out of it, given my, my schedule. Uh, my president, um, I don't only cover Nigeria, but I cover the rest of the ECOWAS basically. So my principals are coming to the region, one of the countries that we are accredited to. So, but then I had to channel the spirit of my, you know, four beers, uh, particularly my father, who I think he went against the trend uh, back in the 40s and uh, faked his age so that he can go to the Second World War. He had never been to school, but he came back uh, speaking Kiswahili, uh, uh, English, and Arabic, you know, among, uh, amongst others. So on a day like this, I was telling Ambassador Bana last night that I wish I could, uh, I could, he, he could still be around so that I can ask him for a few tips and maybe stand up here today and speak in, in, in Kiswahili. But uh, first I would like, also like to really uh, congratulate the, the High Commission, especially His Excellency Bana and his team at the embassy for really organizing this uh, event. Uh, <clears throat> it's, it's been a long time coming, uh, and, and I, we really uh, should be appreciative of uh, what they have done here, bringing us together to, to celebrate one of the most unifying symbols uh, in the form of language. And of course, uh, Kiswahili is a global international language. I mean, previous speakers have, have said that it's spoken in over 200, 250 million uh, across uh, the Great Lakes region, East and Southern Africa, uh, and elsewhere. So that, that's 250 million, that's almost the, that's the population of Nigeria, so it just, shows how important, uh, you know, uh, language uh, is as a, as a unifying symbol, uh, as a unifying uh, factor. Uh, and of course, uh, we all know that uh, Kiswahili is, a, is now a, a working language of the African Union. It's, uh, it's recognized by, you know, an agency of the United Nations. It is also a working language of the, the SADC group, Southern African Development Community. So it is quite very, very important. It is, it is, uh, it is part of the curricula in a lot of schools, including uh, my own alma mater in the linguistics department of the University of Botswana. So it is, uh, without doubt, Africa's main language. and. Uh, uh, we deserve to really, uh, you know, you know, thank, you know, be thankful and grateful that uh, we have uh, Africa uh, is also contributing an important language to the world. Um, well, I'm from Botswana, uh, as the name implies. Uh, it is part of the several Bantu. Uh, dialects or languages which Swahili is part of. So, for example, uh, my language, Setswana, the country is called Botswana, the language is called Setswana, the people are called Botswana. It is spoken not only in Botswana but in South Africa. Actually, there are more Botswana speaking people in South Africa than in my country. But it's also spoken across Southern Africa, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Namibia, Lesotho. So it is uh, uh, when they say when the, when they say hakuna matata, in my language we say hakuna matata. So no price for guessing that that is actually very very similar. But I have a regret. Uh, I was listening to His Excellency uh, 
Ranga from Zimbabwe, you know, saying it's now time for us to move from uh, commemoration to now speaking. I, I started my diplomatic career in, in Asia. So uh, I'm, a, I'm always embarrassed when I'm with my, my friends from East Africa, you know, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, etc. Uh, especially because we'll be sometimes speaking a, bit, a little bit of Mandarin, sometimes a little bit of Japanese. Uh, it is not, I don't mean like uh, fluent knowledge, I mean just conversational knowledge of the language. So, I'm always embarrassed that uh, I, I can't really speak uh, a language which is closest to my own, uh, which is actually my own, like Kiswahili. But I've always promised them that give me three months to six months, if I ever stay in any of these countries, I'm very sure that I'll come out of that with uh, my Kiswahili better than my Mandarin. Uh, so. I'm, I'm really, really grateful uh, for, for us to be here today to, you know, celebrate uh, this uh, important language which has been part of uh, humanity for a whole millennia. So I really, really am grateful. Uh, on, on behalf of my colleagues in the side group, I really would like to reiterate the, the, the the congratulations and say congratulations to Ambassador High Commissioner Bana and your team and a happy, uh, albeit belated, World Kiswahili Day. Thank you. Asante sana. Thank you very much.